Hi, welcome to my channel Mostly Knitting. I'm Tash and this is episode 3 of my videos where I share about mostly my knitting projects, what I've finished, what I'm making at the moment and what plans I've got coming up. So I have a finished object, dotted rays. Uh, it was not going to be finished today but I decided it was big enough with two skeins. So it is, here it is, I'll hold it up and show you. It is um, really quite long. That's pretty much um, my, more than my wingspan. And I really like, I might just take my cardigan off and I'll put it on the way I would normally wear it. Um, so you can actually, it's big enough for me to wear it like wrapped around, wrapped around my shoulders like that. I'll, I'll put a video, um, I'll put a photo up up here so it's it's definitely long enough and got long enough tails to wear like that but I can also wear it where I sort of you know wrap it around and have it under a coat or whatever obviously I probably wouldn't wear it with a summer dress it's very warm here um, yes I'm so happy with how it came out I just used I used all of the light color this is circus tonic um, handmade soiree fingering in the light colors Whisper and the darker colors Cape Gannet. And it used all of the first skein and I had 30 grams left of the Cape Gannet. So um, I'm sure I'll use the, what I've got left for something. I always seem to have some leftovers. Um, but it definitely seemed big enough and I think it would have been massive if I added a third skein. So I don't have any plans for um, that single skein of hedgehog fibers. I'm not sure, I'm sure I'll figure out um, something to do uh, with that eventually. So that's my finished object. I'm really, really happy with it. The dimensions, it's at least six feet in um, wingspan. So yeah, plenty big enough for me because I'm only about five two, maybe five three if I'm lucky on a good day and I'm shrinking. So yeah, maybe I'm five two now. Anyway, so that's my finished object. Uh, my work's in progress. I'm still working on Ilha and I've made some really good progress. I'll put a photo up here of me trying it on. And here it is, I'm past the yoke and I'm working down the body and I did choose to do, sorry about the clicking, I did choose to do the cable down the side. Um, yeah, I really love it. I just think it's so pretty. This is, um, it's a single ply yarn. It's the Woolen Rabbit uh, Airy in the colorway Myrtle. And I've got, with what I've got done so far, I've still got about 30 grams left of the first ball and I've got two more skeins. So I think I'll have plenty. And hopefully, um, hopefully I can get it done in a thousand meters because I have some other plans for some other yarn. I'd like to make another one already. I haven't even finished this one, but yeah, I really love it. So that's that one. Um, I've just started the body increases. I'll be going down um, and just sort of increasing steadily. Maybe next video I'll share a little bit about the math about how I make sure. Um, and I'll, I, use an, I used another dress. So I knew that like the bust was 33 inches and at the bottom of the dress, it should be about 23 inches from under the arm. And I wanted it to be 44 inches. I'm doing the math already. I said I was going to do it next video. Anyway, I, I knew I wanted it to go from 33 inches to 44 inches. But next video, I'll talk about the math about how I how I worked out um, how many increases I needed to do and how frequently. So I've worked that out now. I know I've got to increase four stitches every nine rounds. So now it's just round and round and round with a tiny little bit of cable on the side, which is um, yeah, I'm just that's really my happy place. So I'm enjoying that. Um, I'm still working on my fingering weight socks, um, the gusset heel socks, I've, that's as much as I've done, that's just, I'm doing that on playground duty, um, which I've got tomorrow, so that will get a little bit more work tomorrow. Uh, so they're my only works in progress. Um, my plans, I'm still def definitely going to cast on Miserina in the two, two colours of Tosh Mono Light. Uh, I don't have so I will plan, I will make Ms. Urena. I might cast that on during the week. And I'm also going to make a, I'm going to cast on a muscle bra hat. I said I was going to do that before. Um, and I've decided to use, these are some leftovers from a so faded jumper that I made. So this is uh, Tosh Merino, Madeline Tosh, Tosh Merino Light in the Ursa Major colorway. And so there were three full skeins of sort of a gradient and I used a fourth color dopamine for so major uh, for so faded 
and so what I'm going to do with a muscle bra hat because it's reversible so it's just one long massive tube and that's usually in every one that I've made I've just used the one skein so there's no color change but what I thought I might do is use the dark one for, from one end and the light one from the other end and then the, the middle color in the middle so that when I fold it up it will be either the dark and the the dark for the body and the middle for the brim or it will be the light for the body and the middle for the brim so that it's kind of like a slightly different hat two hats for the price of one so and that's kind of what that's what that hat looks like it's pretty um yeah it's nice nice hat unisex so um anyway so that i'm really excited about that it's that will be like a, some good use of my leftovers and i i really hadn't been sure what to do with these because you know when you sort of you already made a jumper i don't really want to make another thing in exactly the same yarn uh yeah so that's my other plans um so a finished object from the vault that's what i'm wearing at the moment this is the neon cardigan by hohi locatelli and I used Madeleine Tosh MCN Sport in the colorway Coquette, and I really love it. Uh, I think I had a look at my project notes. I made this in 2014, 2015, so, um, and I do wear it a, a decent amount. It's a really nice cardigan to wear when you're in air conditioning. So it's 33 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, Celsius out today outside. It's probably, I think that's um, just over 90 degrees Fahrenheit. So, but the, it gets to be quite cold in, um, in air conditioning. So it's nice to be able to have something like this um, to put over my shoulders. Yeah, so I'm really, really happy with it. I did read in my notes that I had, the stitch was quite hard on my hands. So I had to make sure I, it wasn't the only thing I was working on. And I do find that in my knitting, it's quite good for me to work with different weights of yarn. Um, so I couldn't just knit on socks because I knit my socks like they're bulletproof and just the way I knit Magic Loop and I knit quite tightly and I knit on a 2.25 millimeter needle. So it does it does actually hurt my hands a little bit if I do too much um, you know, tight knitting. So it's good for me to have like a shawl or a sweater or a hat or something else, you know, just to change it up a little bit. Okay, so that's my faux from the vault. Oh, the buttons are from a really lovely button shop called All, uh, All Buttons Great and Small in Newtown here in Sydney. And oh, here's my little tip. Um, when I sew them on, uh, what I use is I take the yarn and if it's applied yarn, which this one was, I split the plies and get it down to either one or two plies. And then that's usually thin enough to go through the buttonholes. You have to be a little bit careful because once you start splitting the plies of applied yarn, it gets quite fragile. So you just want to sew them on quite gently. Um, yeah, so that's my little tip for that. Uh, anything else? Purchases. So I haven't bought anything recently, but um, obviously because this is a sort of fairly new sharing um, yarn that I bought not that long ago, I wouldn't have shown. So this is some um, Life in the Long Grass Merino Linen Singles in the colorway Chirp. That's it skeined up and that's it wound up and oh it's so pretty and I have three skeins and this is what I would like to use to make another Ilha so and make another Ilha dress so if I manage to make it in less than a thousand meters and I have a thousand meters of this I think I will cast on another one so just because I it's it's what I like to have in my wardrobe and another recent purchase my yarn, uh, local yarn store was having a sale and I bought four skeins of this Julie Asselin Anatolia, which is a 60-40 mohair silk blend, and it's in the colorway Clementine. And I, so I have four skeins of that, and four skeins is 1,200 meters. So if I hold that double, that's 600 meters, and I think I only used something like 520 meters in my last ranunculus. So I'm going to make another one of another ranunculus. So same pattern again twice, that's, anyway. But, you know, when you like something. Uh, sewing. Um, so it's my day off today and I was trying to work out what I was going to do with sewing. And I have probably spent two hours thinking about it and looking at what patterns. And I thought about making the Darling Rangers dress, um, which is by Megan Nielsen, or the Older Shirt Dress, which is by Grainline Studio. Um, I'll try and put photos up there of those. 
And then I just thought, Natasha, you haven't sewn in nearly two years. To start making a dress, especially older with a collar and buttons and all that kind of stuff, like just don't do that to yourself. Do something easy and maybe a repeat sew first. So I've been wanting to make the Carolyn pajamas again. I've only made the, the bottoms before, like long pants in this Hello Kitty flannel fabric. I'll put a photo up there, which I like, um, but I wanna make um, the top and the shorts and they have pockets, which I, I like pockets even in pajamas, that seems silly, but I just, I like to have pockets. And so I'm going to make that, um, and I think what I'll do is I'll just make the shorts again. Well, I made the pants, but this time I'll make the shorts and just sort of, which obviously is very similar, it's just shorter. and just get my sort of sewing legs back. Now I have to trace it off again, which is a bit annoying. Um, not just because it's the shorts, but also because the last time I traced off the size zero and it was snug and I don't really want my pajamas to be snug. So I'm going to trace off the shorts in a size two. And um, I just, this isn't really beautiful fabric or anything, but I thought it's just pajama pants. So I have this stash fabric, um, it's just a cotton poplin and I have 1.4 meters of it. So I know I'll have enough and you know, I just, I just want to make something. I just want to sew something. So I'm going to trace that off when I finish this recording. Uh, so that's it for sewing. That's my plans. I, I, I will make the Darling Rangers dress and the older shirt dress eventually, but I just want to get a little bit, you know, just sort of get myself back at the machine again in a gentle way. And just personally, oh, I always forget to say what day it is. It's Thursday, the 2nd of February. And so it's, it's been only about five days since I last recorded, um, but I have the house to myself. Nobody's here today. So I thought, oh, I've just got to do it while it's quiet and um, no one's going to interrupt. So I had my first day back uh, teaching on Monday. I only, I'm part-time and I only have two classes. I have year 10 and year 12. Um, so in America, that would be like sophomores and seniors. And they're the same students that I had last year. So I have year 10 and year 12, and last year they, I had the same, mostly the same kids in year nine and 11. And they're fantastic classes. They're really great kids. I love teaching them. So it's been a really nice, gentle easing back into the school year. Um, I am also watching uh, extension two classes. So I go in a couple of mornings a week at 7 a.m. So they're really early starts. That was yesterday and I have another 7 a.m. start tomorrow. So that will be a long day um, because my middle child um, is not driving yet. She's on her L's and she has two KFC shifts that finish tomorrow night at 10.30 and then Saturday night at midnight. So, the only upside of that is she'll get some night hours driving, so I'm going to ask her to drive home at 10.30 p.m. and at midnight to just, I mean, if she was, if she had a license, I would be wanting her to drive, like she would be driving herself at midnight anyway, so better that she gets some practice driving when she's that tired, when she has another driver in the car. So that's gonna be a bit of a tiring weekend. Thankfully, I don't have much else on, um, just park run on Saturday. I think that's that's kind of it for what's happening at the moment. I'm really excited to be back in like with some sewing plans. I'm really looking forward to even just tracing. I don't even care. I just feel like like sometimes I overwhelm myself and think oh, I've got to make the whole thing, and I just think no, just do step one, like trace the pattern, or then tomorrow maybe cut out the fabric, like no big deal. Um, and especially if I'm not using super fancy fabric, um, it's just something in my stash. Then you know. I'm not wasting anything. Um, I think that's all for the video today. I'll keep it nice and short. Um, and then I'll probably do another one in another week. So yeah, hope everyone's having a good week and I'll see you next week. Bye.